Welcome to the Late Show, everybody. I, uh, I'm just as excited as you are. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert, and we are live right now from the Ed Sullivan Theater. We're live? Yeah, yeah, we're live. Right after Donald Trump's address to Congress. Now, technically, this was not a State of the Union, because I think in this timeline, the Confederacy won. <laughs> right? Man. I've never seen this movie before, but I think that's how this one ends. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. We've got to get back to the interdimensional portal as quickly as we can. <laughs> there was a lot of anticipation tonight. It's a huge evening for the mm. president and for everybody in Washington and the nation. Before it even began, CNN trolled the nation with the caption, Trump leaves White House soon. <laughs> Don't tease. Not cool, CNN. Not cool. That's not right. <laughs> What's next? Covering the president, descending a staircase with the caption, Trump steps down. <laughs> Don't you dare. And as he was leaving the White House, cameras caught President Trump apparently rehearsing his lines <laughs> in the back of the limo. Now, obviously, CNN's powerful microphones picked up what he was saying. Uh, I'll have the Clams Casino, and uh, I'll have a side of steak, and uh, the lady will have a Coke, no ice, and I'll have her steak, please. <laughs> Hungry. Gotta get the energy up. CNN. CNN has powerful microphones. Of course, it's a really big night, and some in Congress dressed for the occasion. The female members of the House Democratic Caucus all wore white in honor of women's suffrage, <laughs> while... Very nice. They were white, while the Republicans were white in honor of who elected them. <laughs> and uh, you gotta give back. You gotta give back. <laughs> All the white notes. You got, you, you got, you gotta dance with a girl that brung you. <laughs> then, at long last, the big moment came. The President of the United States. <laughs> Any chance there's a mistake and Moonlight is the president? <laughs> is there just... That was last time. That was last time. That was last time. I don't think oh, you get it this time. time. I guess not. I guess not. No. Shucks. And there he was, you know, at long last, the moment we went for. He was there in the chamber being president and all. Trump entered the room and did the traditional handshakes with everybody. So many handshakes, such little hands. <laughs> now... When he took to the podium to deliver the speech, as usual, behind the president were the vice president, Mike Pence, and Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, who immediately showed their commitment to fiscal responsibility by purchasing a buy one, get two free suit and tie combo. <laughs> right there. Those guys. Yes, right there, both guys. Like that. I was going to wear that, yes. Paul. I mean, men, men wearing a blue suit with a blue tie, that's ridiculous. <laughs> now... <laughs> I got the memo. I got the memo. Can't be doing it, though. Now, the theme of the speech was renewal of the American spirit, which I gotta say really just sounds like a Chinese bootleg of Make America Great Again. <laughs> and to begin the evening, Trump spoke in uplifting terms. Each American generation passes the torch of truth, liberty, and justice in an unbroken chain all the way down to the present. Then he extinguished that court torch with a coconut and asked the Democrats to leave the island. <laughs> you have been voted off. Torch. 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 <laughs> then you have been voted off. the president outlined his plans to roll back government waste. We have begun to drain the swamp of government corruption by imposing a five-year ban on lobbying by executive branch officials, and a lifetime ban on becoming lobbyists for a foreign government. Adding, obviously, yours truly accepted. <laughs> I got your back, Vlad. I got your back. <laughs> and he's already working to put his small government plan in place. We have undertaken a historic effort to massively reduce job-crushing regulations, creating a deregulation task force inside of every government agency. Yes, a new task force in every government agency. We're going to reduce government by adding people to the government. <laughs> it's like how... It's like... 
That's how... Like that. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. like how the key to not getting hung over is just to never stop drinking. <laughs> now, yeah, find out. <laughs> Might find out tonight. Of course, <laughs> Trump immediately boasted about his executive orders. We have placed a hiring freeze on non-military and non-essential federal workers. Non-essential federal workers. So Kellyanne Conway is out? Is she... <laughs> You will be missed. <laughs> and uh, Trump kept on with the boasting. We have withdrawn the United States from the job-killing Trans-Pacific Partnership. Yes, the Trans-Pacific Partnership is just one of the trans the administration is withdrawing support from. <laughs> and, yeah, they're dedicated to that. Mm -hmm. Now, the president also laid out his vision on immigration. Bad ones are going out as I speak. And as I promised. Bad ones out, good ones in. <laughs> this nuanced policy comes from Trump's immigration director, Secretary Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Bad Hulk smash. Then, I don't know why, why, I don't know why the, why does the Hulk talk like Trump? I don't understand. <laughs> and, and, and Trump let us know just what standard he wants immigrants to meet. It's a basic principle that those seeking to enter a country ought to be able to support themselves financially. Just like the Statue of Liberty says, give us your tired, your poor, but not so poor they can't afford a two-bedroom apartment like a Mitsubishi. <laughs> but there's a standard. Just that in the huddled masses. You know, good enough. Good enough. Good enough. That's enough loop. And after that, and this was important, President Trump sounded a grave warning on terrorism. We have seen the attacks in France, in Belgium, in Germany, and all over the world. And just because we haven't seen the attacks in Sweden doesn't mean they did not happen. <laughs> all right? <laughs> invisible terrorists are everywhere. They're, they're invisible. You gotta watch. They got the ring. Mm -hmm. Then Trump turned toward the future. Tonight, as I outline the next steps we must take as a country, we must honestly acknowledge the circumstances we inherited. Honestly, I don't know what we inherited. You inherited like a hundred million dollars. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. As long as you're being honest. <laughs> right? Something like that, ballpark. <laughs> and he had some thoughts on, on what we need to do next. But to accomplish our goals at home and abroad, we must restart the engine of the American economy. And in the spirit of bipartisanship, Trump then allowed Nancy Pelosi to restart that engine. No! No, 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 no. She's okay. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> Trump talked seriously about the money we have wasted in the Middle East and how it could be put to much better use thanks to his business skills. With the six trillion dollars, we could have rebuilt our country twice and maybe even three times if we had people who had the ability to negotiate. Maybe even rebuild it ten times if we had people who refused to pay their contractors. <laughs> then, no, you get nothing. You get nothing and you like it. No, nothing. <laughs> then, of course, as he needed to, he laid out his economic plan. This effort will be guided by two core principles. Buy American and hire American. Unless you're making Trump ties, then the Chinese do an amazing job. <laughs> really incredible. With such, such good. What is this? What is this? We're good. We're good. <laughs> and finally, Trump got to the long-awaited moment. Tonight, I am also calling on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. <laughs> I gotta say, that must have been hard on Trump. People got so excited just hearing Obama's name. <laughs> just nice of him to include. Nice of him to give a shout out. It was a nice shout out. Yeah. 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 And as the evening drew to a close, Donald Trump provided an optimistic vision. Everything that is broken in our country can be fixed. Every problem can be solved. 
Well, there's one problem we can't solve for four years. But <laughs> other than that, I think I, I agree with you. I agree with you. And this surprised me. This next thing I did not expect at all. Trump came out as pro-choice when it comes to schools. These families should be free to choose the public, private, charter, magnet, religious, or homeschool that is right for them. Wait, you can choose a different homeschool? <laughs> then I choose your home. It seems really nice. <laughs> can I just I bring the kids over? Does, who teaches them? Eric teaches them. Hey. Someone's got to teach them. Teach the children. They then Donald Trump brought the theme of the evening back to law and order. And we must support the victims of crime. Unless they are plaintiffs against me, those women are lying. <laughs> of course, his goal is to make America great again. And for everybody wondering, the time Trump thinks America was great? Well, he gave his answer. The 1886 World's Fair. Alexander Graham Bell displayed his telephone for the first time. Remington unveiled the first typewriter. An early attempt was made at electric light. Thomas Edison showed an automatic telegraph and an electric pen. Imagine the wonders our country could know in America's 250th year. Who knows? Maybe a cordless pen? <laughs> Who knows? Anything. Anything. I don't do the one with the car. That's it. not being fair. When Trump says electric pen, he means where he plans to keep the immigrants. And he let, it's possible. If he can dream it, it's possible. And Trump laid out a vision for how we should all move forward. The time for trivial fights is behind us. Adding just one more thing, suck it, Nordstrom's. <laughs> so, as we come to the end, of tonight's address to Congress, I think we can all agree on one thing. One down, seven to go. <laughs> we have a great show for you tonight. Lisa, join us here.